you probably know someone who is a big sports fan. Win or lose, their team is the best and they love to let others know. In sports, we expect people to be biased for their own team. Their goal isn't fairness, and it's obvious. They wear their bias on their sleeve, or even their face on occasion. And just like people root for sports teams, they also root for ideas, laws, products, research, politicians, and more. People often write articles, make videos, and do interviews that are biased. They are designed to promote their team's side of the story. And that's fine. Bias can rally a team and win debates for the greater good. The problem is that bias is often hidden. What might appear to be neutral, fair information can be biased. For example, to understand the current state of climate change, you can't depend on one team's biased perspective. You need information that is neutral, fair, and unbiased. The same is true for important decisions in science, education, government, and more. Unbiased information is essential. The problem is that it can be hard to see whether the goal of an article, for instance, is to be fair or to root for their team. The best you can do is learn to detect bias. Imagine reading an article and asking yourself, who is the author and what is their motivation? Do they earn money or benefit by promoting one idea over another? If so, the article may be biased. Does the author provide only one way to think about a subject? Do they ignore key information or perspectives that don't fit their own? If so, they may be biased. Are sources cited in the article? Who or what are they and what role do they play? If the sources are biased, there may be misinformation and the article itself may be biased. Does the article use insulting language or buzzwords? Does it use examples that appeal to only one side of the story? If so, the article may be biased. It's important to note that bias isn't always bad and can be helpful. The key is learning to recognize the author's bias and evaluating the information with that bias in mind. This way, you can choose the best sources for your needs.